you are watching TGIF. I am your host, Shandanae Shondon Baskin. And I know you guys miss me. I miss y'all. I know I've been saying I'm going to do a show. Probably every week I've been saying that. And I finally had the time to do a show. So I definitely want to say thank you to all my supporters, family, friends, uh, people that just watch. I don't know who you are. Thank you so much. This episode is going to be a quick one. It's definitely going to be good. Definitely just going to be talking about some things that just been happening uh, in the area, not just in the area in Nashville, but just, I guess this summer, is this summer yet? I don't know, but we definitely just going to be talking about the hot topics, what's going on right now. But before I get into that, definitely want to address, uh, the issues with this generation. Um, I am a social butterfly, but it seems like as lately, I, I, it's, it sucks when you think you meet people and you think they're going to be in your life forever. Um, I watched this video on YouTube the other day. It was uh, a video by Oprah. She was saying that you are responsible for the energy that you dish out in your life. You're also responsible for the people you allow in your life with bad energy. And I just want all the bad energy to get away from me. Like right now I'm focused. I graduated. I got all this time. And I'm trying to focus on my career. I just don't have time for negative energy. Another good video that I watch was about um, people isn't meant to be in your life forever. You know, people. some people is only meant to be in your life for a season. And which was fine because God placed them in your life for that particular season. But when it's time to let people go, you just got to let them go. Easier said than done. Yes. But I do believe that people was a uh, place in my life and they had like an expiration date and they're no longer in my life. But I do cherish all the good memories we had and I'm just going to continue to push forward. As I continue to reach new heights and move to the next level, I can't wait to see who, like, who else is going to enter my life, who's going to help me, who's, who's going to be there for me. You know, just building new relationships, that's what I want to focus on. Because nowadays, there's no loyalty. People don't want to be loyal so it's cool but you're watching tgil don't want to get all mushy on y'all make sure you stay tuned you rock with your girl shine don all right thanks for tuning in you rock with your girl shine don like i said it's going to be a pretty short show i want to jump into the hot music that just dropped uh, I want to talk about the kid first from all the way Kentucky. You already know. Don't. We got to talk about Bryson Tiller, man. He just dropped his sophomore sophomore album, True to Self. I think it's a dope album. Uh, I really do like the transitions. I like the 90s sample. I think Bryson did his thing. Uh, not sure yet if he has a hit record on the album, but I think the songs are fine in spite of what everybody else say. It may not be a trap soul, but I feel like it has a special type of vibe to it. You definitely should check it out. Up next, man, you already know if Gucci Man may drop him albums like every other month. He dropped uh, an album with Metro Boomin. I might get this title wrong. I think it is Drop Top Wop or something like that. Uh, one song I do like off that album is the song he got with Offset. I think that song is pretty dope. Uh, moving forward, we got to talk about SZA. Uh, first lady of TDE. I didn't know who she was. I don't keep it real. I didn't know who she was until the buzz was talking. Like everybody started talking about when she's gonna drop her album. Got a chance to listen to it. The album art is really dope. I'm really into album art. You got the, the old school <laughs> Dell Gateway computers and some grass or something like that. Her album is amazing. I'm so happy she dropped it. Uh, that's what I've been vibing to for the last couple of days. It's dope. Make sure y'all check out SZA album Control. Man, y'all gotta check out that song with Kendrick Lamar. I think it's called When Dove. No, it's not called When Dove's Fly. That's Prince. It's dope. It's dope, y'all. Man, the dude with the red hair that looked like flaming Hot Cheetos, Lil Yachty. Shout out to Lil Yachty. At first, I was like, I don't understand why he's so appealing. But uh, as Lil Yachty kept putting out music, I've, I've grown to like a few of his songs and I kind of just like the way he moved. Um, he dropped his album as well, Teenage Emotions. Uh, I think it flopped. He made a message on Instagram saying numbers isn't everything and he think his brand is too big, it's bigger than his music. 
But there is one song I do like on that album. I think it's called Yellow Woman or Pretty Yellow Woman. I really think that song is dope. But shout out to you, Lil Yachty, man. He's 19, 19 years old. You got to respect that. He's living his dream. So uh, that's all the new music that dropped. Make sure you check it out. It's dope. And if you want to check out some more music, you can always follow me on Spotify. You can always follow my Spotify playlist. I try to keep uh, some playlists in there and make sure my music is dope. Make sure I'm rotating some hot stuff. And that's about it for the music right now. So, man, the NBA Finals this year was wild. We definitely got to talk about that. Definitely got to say congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. That's the team who I've been going for. Um, been a fan of theirs ever since Mark Jackson took over. I saw the potential. Uh, huge fan of Stephen Curry. Uh, it, it, it's been a crazy finals. I didn't know it was going to be so easy for them. I assumed that it was going to go to a seven-game series. But as uh, Draymond wore the, the quickie shirt today, I mean, they kind of got him out of there quick. <laughs> But shout out to LeBron, man. I feel like a lot of people, like, in order for you to be the best, all eyes is on you constantly. What LeBron James does isn't easy, and he's the best basketball player in the world right now. Shout out to LeBron James. What I don't like is how people is downing Kevin Durant. Let this dude live his life. <laughs> Congrats, Kevin Durant, on winning your first championship. I don't care if it was with OKC, the Chicago Bulls, the Seattle Supersonics. I don't care. He got a championship, and he went beast mode in the finals. Definitely just want to put my little input, my, my take on it, because people just getting on my nerves, man. All right, y'all, so definitely got to say thank you for watching this episode of TGIF Friday. TGIF, thank God, it's Friday. You rocking with your girl, Shondon. Please watch the next episode. I got something special for everybody. I've been working on this little documentary. We're going to air it on the next episode, and the next episode will be the final episode until season two. I want to take in all the criticism, all the feedback, anything you have for me, send it in, and we're going to go ahead and make the show 10 times better than what it is now. Thank you. You guys have a great summer and you take care. Sean Don, follow me. For real. Peace.